Have you ever wondered what really happens in Washington, D.C.? Well, we're very pleased to have Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa with us to give us a little more information and maybe some insight. Thank you for taking the time to be here. You're home in Hawaii. Thank you, Lila, and it's always good to be with you. That is an interesting question. <laughs> what is it really like? And, and, you know, I'm in a unique position where I was there for four years. I got to come home for two and, and then back again. And so when people ask me, what is it like? And I said, yeah, it's like repeating kindergarten twice. <laughs> the thing I know now that I didn't know before is, you know, who to play with in the sandbox, mm -hmm. what part of the sandbox not to go into, and where the best shovels are hidden. <laughs> and I said, those are important things. And that's what makes the success, I think, of being there. But uh, the most important thing, especially for your audience and our people in Hawaii, they need to understand how different Washington, D.C. and the United States generally is from us. When we all say we're lucky we live Hawaii, you have no idea what that means and how lucky we truly are. We are a state that we all grow up, yeah, we grow up with, you know, different groups of people, but we know how to do one thing that a lot of people don't know how to do, which is respect and be able to live together. And that's what actually being in Washington, D.C. has taught me the most, is how to even more appreciate being from Hawaii, having grown up here, and the people that really, I like to proudly say, have defined me and made me who I am. So if you don't like me out there, it's your fault. No. <laughs> but I mean, that's really what it's all about. It's just a different kind of mindset. Washington, D.C. is very different but so is really most of the United States. I tell people, forget the East Coast, forget the West Coast, forget us. It's middle America that's now defining us, and it's that that makes it so difficult. And not only us, but people who are like in the West Coast or the East Coast, they have a difficulty in comprehending why. And you know, it's like, why do we have the president that we have? What's happening? How did the Democrats, which have dominated Hawaii for so long, we don't have either house. How does this happen when we listen to the issues and all of us think, well, of course, how can they say those things? But they have the votes. And what I hear you saying, too, is that when we say Hawaii is special, um, it, there's more to it. Mm -hmm. It's not only how we grew up and, and how we live our lives. It's also the choices we make. Right. And you're on many different committees where there's lots of choices to be made. You know, I'm on uh, armed services, and I was there for four years before. So um, I sit on uh, sea powers, a subcommittee, sea power, plus what is called strategic forces. And the reason I was interested in strategic forces was really PMRF, or the Daniel K. Noe Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. And the fact that that is going to be one of the most critical aspects of our defense. I sit on natural resources, which is a committee I was on before. Mm -hmm. And I am the, what they call the ranking member of federal lands, which really has the, the widest yeah. jurisdiction. And the people do not know is that natural resources is the oldest committee in the Congress of the United States. Mm -hmm. And federal lands is what it was called. Public lands is what it was called. And I have been what they call waved on. We, we can only have two committees, but I was waved on by leadership, which I'm part of, uh, to sit on science, uh, space, science, and technology, which is NASA, STEM, and all those interesting subjects that I think have such a place in Hawaii. And those, that's what I do. But in addition to that, I am part of leadership. I'm part of Nancy Pelosi's uh, 14 of us, and in addition to that, I sit also on committees called Steering and Policy, which really shapes how the House is going to move. So through that, I have a very different perspective on how Washington works. You get different kinds of information, and you it makes it even clearer to me that Hawaii is home, and I am so proud that it's my <laughs> home. Well, we are grateful that you're there. We're very Happy that you're home and can get rejuvenated with us, and thank you for spending the time. Thank you for thank having you. me. We've been conversing with Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa from Washington, D.C. and Hawaii. Uh, thank you for joining us, and thank you for coming home.